Welcome everybody, welcome to the live stream. We're into our brand new story mode game, and I have seen some good reviews about this game. And I got the game for free off of hum off of Humble Bundle. Humble Bundle got got me this game for free. Uh, so once again, I want to say a shout out. Thank you to Humble Bundle for giving out this game. This game actually looks really good. And this game is actually a different type of game. We we just finished on the channel. Uh, uh, another game, but now but now this is a new story mode game. Uh, and what is it? It is. It is. And I should have said it earlier. Welcome to Deponia, the complete the complete journey, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Let's give I this is our afternoon stream because I feel like that we're gonna be in this game a lot. This game is long and it probably will be long for me, probably will be long for the whole channel because I'm the one that's doing it. And did somebody say the pony? Yes they did. I did. Uh, about like uh five minutes ago. Actually I thought about playing this game a few days ago, but then I I play I played the other game on the channel, uh Cap Captain Spirit. But now we are gonna do this one. We, so, uh, our goal is that, I'm, I'm gonna stream it now, for, for like the, uh, two to three hours, and, th and then though, and then though, after that though, I'm going, I, I wouldn't, why, I wouldn't why stream it, I wouldn't why stream it though, later on today, uh, tonight, so, so we're gonna be doing two streams today, so, uh, I don't know much about the game. They gotta double check something. Oh, oh, it does work. Hallelujah. Okay then, it does work. On that note, I'm no longer. Alright, so then there we go. So here we go, guys. Alright, so here we go. Let's get right into the game. I'm gonna go and just leave the game running up like this. I'm gonna go close this window. Okay, so here we go. Let's get right into it. Actually, I'm gonna go. You know what? I don't think I need to go mute this. But here we go. All right, we're gonna go start a new game. Uh, we're gonna see. Uh, click your inventory. Choose your inventory mode. But click classic mode. Inventory per mouse wheel recommended. Or we could do classic mode. Uh, we could do inventory per click. I'm gonna do. Wow. We're gonna do the, uh, I guess we're gonna do the, uh, the, uh, the Akito recommended mode. I could probably change it though later on, I assume. Uh, but here we go. Oh, and this here, it's a, it's a right now a Steam game. We haven't done a Steam game in a while. The last Steam game we might have done on the channel might have been. I like the music in there too, by the way. I can't think of that at the moment, guys. I'm gonna have to come back on you with that. With that, our last thing game done. But this here, though, it was. It was free, though, on Humble Bundle. So once again, thank you there, Humble Bundle, again. As always, shout out to Humble Bundle. They are right now OGs. Uh, we're not OG Park Champs. Every, now, now, here's something. Every single game, every single game. Every single game, I have technically, I have technically gotten off of Humble Bundle has been a, a, an amazing game. Oh, I know what we did. We did on there a, a story about my uncle. That's the last thing game we did. But I gotta say, every single, every single free game I have gotten off of Humble Bundle has been awesome. I have not been disappointed yet. And there is like a whole bunch of Humble Bundle games I've gotten that actually, that actually though I I haven't played yet. So so once again though we are we are gonna play with them. Yeah. So uh, so here we go. We're gonna we're gonna play this. I don't know much about it though. So we're not gonna go into the uh, second chapter if we do. Uh, we also have on here subtitles, so uh, uh, we should be what okay. Is it now? Wasn't the game supposed to have started already? Yeah. Well, yes. But the junk press broke down, and we thought we'd use the time for a little tutorial. 
Who thought that? I don't need no stinking tutorials. <laughs> so how are you going to fix the junk press? Just watch me and learn. Maybe you want to listen to what I have to say first? But you don't have anything to say. Oh, come on. It won't be long. Just point the cursor at me and left click. I need a we'll new headset that. too this year. Um, I'm here. Yeah, I know that. Didn't you want to talk to me? Just point at me and left click. Will you stop yakking then? Actually, I wanted to give you the next hint. Really? How extraordinarily exciting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you don't have to say that explicitly. Um, who's talking to you? Why, you are. You clicked on me. Smarty pants. Just tell me what's wrong with the junk press. And stop wiggling your feet. It's pressing only very gently now and doesn't really squish sufficiently. Hey, every idiot can see that. Well, why don't you present the tutorial then? Okay, piece of cake. But first, I'll explain, um, how to talk to somebody. You click on a character with the mouth icon. <laughs> no, you're completely wrong. I'm talking to you using the speech bubble icon. Everyone knows there's no mouth icon in this. This is an awesome tutorial, by the way. It, it is absolutely hilarious. Oh, and my favorite so far. icon, the Rufus head this icon. Game is Supposedly though, it's act and drinking things. If you can't even understand, it's, it's actually about though oh, 48, 48 you. hours long. Some some people have said it's taking forty eight hours as long. How to look at an object? I know that. I see. And how? I point my cursor at it and right click when I see the eye icon. Well, the theory is easy, but how about the actual practice? Hey, this is your tutorial. You're a cop out, but be that as it may, I'll demonstrate. Uh, do you see that little uh, thingy on the floor over there? I will now use the um, tongue icon. The eye icon. Yeah, I will now click on it, thusly having a look at it. So you better watch closely. I thought you wanted to have a look at that thing on the floor. I can see it. It's lying there. I mean, look more closely. You just point at it and write... Dude, that dare is hilarious. I thought you wanted... I can see it. It's... I mean, look more... You just point at... What's that? It's a cathode plunger. Thanks for the input, Wenzel. But I recognize a hydro clamp duplexer when I see one. Too bad I can only look at it. A duplexer like that could be useful. You can pick it up. You just have to point your cursor at it so the hand icon appears. If you left click now, you'll pick it up. There has to be an easier way. If you say so. Okay, I picked up the duplexer, but what did you see with it now? A point and click though puzzle game. That's where I should have said this earlier. You Supposedly, it is what this is. I don't know much now about the story, but, by using your but this here looks like a pretty, uh, pretty fun game. So let's see here. Uh, huh? Uh, yeah, I wanted to explain that. Uh, uh, how to use objects inside the inventory. I click on them with the hand icon, thus making them my cursor. If I click on another object, now I'll combine the two. Aw, how cute. You know, I'm tempted to believe that you know what you're talking about. <laughs> I hope you won't exceed your limits if I ask you... How to end a dialogue. How to end a dialogue. You click on the last option in the options menu? Ha! <laughs> Completely wrong. <laughs> uh, so you can hey, there it is. Correct. This is your inventory. This is the I'm inventory. It's where you can see what you're carrying. I can actually do a display or though, you. or though a click method. Look, Wenzel, I'm almost done. Impressive. But I mean that. Huh, it fits. Now you have to... Hey, you don't have to spoon feed me. I'll manage the rest. If you say so.
Uh, Rufus, there's one more thing. I told you I'd manage without your help. Now, all I have to do is press this button here, and right away... Oh, how I love tutorials! <laughs> oh, this game looks, looks amazing it's so far. Pathetic. You get all erratic about the tea dishes congesting the sink. And it gave me a kind of like a little bit though. I don't want to say well, it came. I don't think it's a team but it hurts. It's hilarious so far. Yeah, they gave me a pretty good. Hold on guys, I'm not going to go tone down volume a little bit if you guys don't mind. On this, we'll probably go down like 50-ish if you don't mind. Oh, you know what though? I should probably go and tune down. I should probably go and tune down though. Ah, uh, volume. Here we go. Deponia. Sorry guys, I, I, I had to go do it. I should have done it inside of the thinking game. Deponia. The complete journey. Because... Because... Because though, in this... In this thing here... Junk. It's all the games included, I think. Junk. That's why I call the act. That's why I call the actual complete journey. It show it has everything in it free. So once again, same time a bundle for it. You you are awesome. Junk too. I'm all. Well, that does it. I need to leave this dump. Fortunately, this time my plan is foolproof. This time everything will work out. Where did I put my list? Heck, I really have to get away from this junkyard. That it? Huh. My old escape plans. Some of them weren't half bad. I need to find my list. Oh, there it is. Ah, there's my list. Let's see what this Let's is. Let's see. Seems like I've packed almost everything I need. All I need now are some provisions. A toothbrush, a pair of socks, and a bolt cutter. A bolt cutter? What the... Well... I guess I must have had a reason to put it on the list. Yeah, I mean, w I mean, why would you put a bolt cutter on your list? Oh, we gotta go downstairs. Okay, uh... This here looks like a really... So, so far, the act... The actor, the music, though, is phenomenal for this game. I'm pretty impressed by it. So let's see uh, what we want to okay. do. Okay, and here we are in the first room, right in the beginning of the game. Here we will, of course, meet Rufus. Well, then again, I'd like you to play that part yourself and won't spoil too much. The beginning of Deponia is rather classic. That means a lot of the information about Rufus comes from trying things yourself through interaction. So there's a lot of that. Not an easy feat, I might add. By now, in the late installments, the introduction is much smoother for your convenience. But this one's more like uh, Edna and Harvey, where you are supposed to puzzle and guess your way through the intro. And since you already clicked the developer's commentary, I'm glad to tell you that we actually convinced Rufus to come over to our studio. Hello, Rufus! Hey, Pokey, great to be here. Yeah, the screen must really be a trip down Nostalgia Lane for you. But as I said, let the players figure out where they ended up and what to do. So I'll ask you something completely different. Um, you were voiced by Kerry Shale for this game. Do you think that he's uh, a good it choice? Did away, oh yes. Very <laughs> important task. Yeah, I was kind of hoping you'd ask. Um, well, first things first. I've known Kerry for quite some time. Uh, we're kind of friends. Uh, and I think <laughs> everything's with the same. In fact, that there is Kerry. Is Kerry? Is Kerry? You know, we, we got to know each other when I, um, when I returned from Algeria. Uh, I had some uh, bad luck there. I don't want to go into it. And then we, uh, we both rode that train. This is, uh, ab this is comical, and, too, uh, by the way. Hilarious stuff. But, uh, is he the right choice for the role? Yeah, he's great. I, I, I don't want to comment any, uh, any further. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With a great role comes great responsibility, right? And uh, great is just the right word for the challenge uh, to interpret your work of a lifetime as a voice actor, isn't it? Well, you know, uh, Chaplin always dreamed about making a Napoleon film. Uh, eventually he didn't, but uh, you, as you can't actually represent uh, Napoleon, only replace him. And this, this situation is quite similar. Well. Okay, and here we are in the first room. 
and it says, Hey, yeah, yeah, no. well, you okay, know. so, hey, yeah, yeah, no. mm. well, you know. Let me go see what, what, what I, what I need. Hmm. Locked. Tony must have the key. Bathroom door. Oh, there we go. A toothbrush. Whoa. What the? The toothbrush bailed out on me. Guess I should have kept it in a more germ-free environment. Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Oh, crap. I need a better plan to catch it. Let me do that. Let me, let me put the plunger down in there. Nope. The corner once was a good hiding place, but that's the first place Tony will look. <whistles> Nothing that needs plunger treatment, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, too bad. Wielding the plunger is my favorite pastime. Oh, there's, oh, there's the bolt cutters. There's the detergent. Let me see here. I might be able to... Why would I want to clean in there? It's dark anyway. Let's say I could probably get the bolt. A bolt cutter is a pretty useless gadget if you think about it. Why did I plan to take it along? Why this guy? Okay. <laughs> That's not on my list. And rightfully so. I won't have a use for this junk once I'm in Elysium. Let me go down there. I don't see why I of all... I mean, Tony has much more experience with it. Another note from Tony. Another note from Tony. Between posts about it, okay. I don't want to use this anymore. Another note from Tony. Well, what's she complaining about now? You scoffed all the food yet again, and I keep finding your crap in the fridge. What the hell's wrong with you? Huh? I don't understand the question. I do the I must dishes say. already, they won't do themselves. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll take that chance. Why would I want to clean in there? It's dark anyway. Tony says it's my turn to clean the bathroom. Now that's just unfair. It's never her turn. I've been waiting for weeks, and it's never her turn. Blech. What Nat's piss? Okay, can we go lock the door? There's like nothing in here. Okay, let me uh, see. No, I haven't finished packing yet. No, I need to find something to grab this. Oh, here, 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 a nagging note. You're not supposed to eat on the sofa. I keep finding leftovers in it. Huh? Well, isn't that a good thing? I guess so. Maybe put in there. Burn the note. <laughs> Not a bad idea, but I need some more for the fire to really get going. Okay. How about the fork? I was going to say, how about the fork? Uh, I doubt if I'll find anything appetizing back there. Come on, brush. Oh, crap. I need a better plan to catch it. 
Okay, let me see you it down here. <laughs> yes. Huh. Not a chance. The handle is missing, and I can't get my fingers into the cracks. Let me see. I might be able to use this thing. This would make a fabulous all-round tool. Nah, who needs fabulous all-round tools anyway? <laughs> That's for amateurs. Huh. Not a chance. Uh, although I... How about this? This would make a fabulous all... Nah, who needs... <laughs> That's for amateurs. This would make a fabulous all-round... Nah, who needs fabulous all-round tools anyway? <laughs> That's for amateurs. Okay, so we don't need that. Uh, we need a plunger. I'm going to say I could probably... There we go. Ouch! I'm not sticking my hand in there again! I can't do that to the mouse. That'd be animal cruelty. There's nothing left to catch here. The mouse skedaddled, which doesn't mean that its plan was better than mine. There's nothing left to catch here. The mouse skedaddled, which doesn't mean... That nah, I don't think this will work without the right bait. I'm gonna say I could eat the bowl cutters in there. I'm not sticking my hand. I can't do that to the mouse. That nope. The corner once was a good hiding place, but that's the first place Tony. <coughs> okay, so. Why would there be socks in there? Like, seriously, why would you put socks in here, though? Seriously. Coat. I'll have a quick look. See if I can find something useful in the pockets. Hey, there really was something in there. A sock. Cool. Oh, God. So it... Well, I think that's all. Should be enough. No, I haven't finished packing yet. Hmm. But without something to put the good old it's too bad I can't I've had the most um plus you can always find leftovers. Go back upstairs to Rufus. <clears throat> I'm gonna say there probably might be something over here I could use a torch. And maybe some oil can. What's this? A sock? That explains why I've had such cheesy dreams. Blech. Nah, like always, there's only junk on TV. I'm gonna say, there's something in here I could use. Oh, here we go, my Trump. My father left me before he left me. I don't want to open it. I don't want to be disappointed. Oh, my father left me. Then he left without me. Oh, so actually, we are actually on a planet called Japonia. Okay, uh, let's see. Come on, brushy. Oh, crap. I need a better plan. Let me see, I could say I could probably put this sticking comes in a sock. Nope. No second sock anywhere to be seen. Nope. No second sock any It already has plenty of oil stains. It already has plenty of oil stains. I think I can find a better place for used oil. <laughs> the fresh water supply, for instance. <laughs> Let's get rid of this thing. 
Yeah, so now we're going to go utilize this to go put the crumbs in. The crumbs. Yeah. Seems there are still some wasabi peas in there. But without something to put them into, nah, I'm not collecting them. Okay, now we're going to go put these in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess these will make good provisions for the journey. <laughs> now Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Now we're gonna go and uh trap trap the stinking toothbrush with bait. Come on, brushy brushy brushy. Come to Papa. Ha! Gotcha. Ha! Gotcha. I'll make you supper the next time I brush my teeth. Alright, so what else do we need? Is there a way to test or determine? Actually, we're, we're going to go and uh, save. Save, we're going to save just, just to say in case. I want to see, I want to see the list. Okay, so we, oh, I think we're good. I think we got everything. Whoa, what's that? It's supposed to be with this guillotine, so I won't enter her room? Whoa, that girl has issues. I honestly wonder why we were ever together at all. Stay out of my room. You have no business in there anymore. Who does Tony think she is? I've got better things to do than rummage through her drawers. Oh wait, bolt cutters. We could eat the bolt cutters to cut that off. No, I haven't finished. No, I haven't finished. Thought I had everything. It really is time I got. Let me go see. Did we go put? I should find the matching saw. I don't want to show up. Well, those are two socks, all right. But I need a pair. I... Hmm. Locked. Tony must have the key. Let me see, what could we use? Oh wait, hand torch. I need something flat. Burn the note. Not a all I need is a Burn the note. Not a but I need Burn the note. Not a bad idea, but I need some more for the. Burn the note. Not a bad. All I need is a. I need something flammable to start the fire. Uh. No, I. Blech. What gnats piss? I'm not sticking my hand in there again. I'm going to say... Will you please clean the bathroom for once? Yeah, right. In her dreams. Let me see. Uh...
going to say, is there anything up here we could possibly use? Uh... <laughs> Uh Well, I think that's all. Should be enough. Well, I think that should be enough. Bestie, could I... That's pretty weird. She didn't say anything about my laundry. Either I must have missed the note, or Tony's getting negligent. No way. <laughs> That's not on my list, and rightfully so. I won't have a use for this junk once I'm in Elysium. I wonder if there's anything in there that I could use on my journey. <laughs> That's not on my list. And rightfully, I won't have a use. Well, nothing to fork yet. If this doesn't have to be. That's what I've been telling Tony for. That's what I've been telling. I just got that from there. Oh, wait, wait, we gotta go put in here the, the uh, toothbrush, right? Can we put in here a toothbrush? You have it? Toothbrush. Check. Bolt cutters. Bolt cutter, for whatever reason. Check. Yeah. Provisions. Check. I won't have a use for this. I should stick to the list. Okay, how about putting that? How about putting in there? This would make a fabulous all round tool. Nah, who needs fabulous all-round tools anyway? <laughs> That's for amateurs. I won't have a use for this. I should stick to the... This wasn't... But one has to improvise. Huh, my old escape... Some of them were... Well, I don't know what else there is I could grab. Uh, maybe something down here? Should be enough. Well, I think that's all should be enough. I guess I could smudge the note, but why should I? I'm not re- I guess I could smudge the note, but why should I? I'm not reading- I guess I could sm- but why- I'm- Burn the note? Not all I need is an appro- Okay, uh, let me see here. I guess I could smudge- But why should I? I'm not reading- I don't know where else to go. Locked. Tony must.
Tony says it's my. Now that's just on. I've been waiting. I don't see why I. I mean, Tony has. I think the pot goes on the hot. Well, I've seen Tony doing it that way. Oh, there we go. Hot plate, and let me go and, uh. I need something flammable. Burn the nut. Not all I need. In you go. There we go. <laughs> Now we go. There we go. Boned it. Got it. Boning. Sweet. Ah, uh, let's see. Ouch! Damn it! That's hot! Ouch! That's hot! It's already lit. It already has plenty of burn marks. Damn fireflies. At least I already... But I need a... I don't want to show... I may not be an expert, but... Something's still missing. Well, nothing to fork yet. If you don't do everything... Nope, it doesn't taste good. Been there, done that. There we go. I may not be an expert. Oh, look at that. The sock changed color. Who would have thought it? But where's the other one? Clear case of subtractive color mixing. What? I just laundered them. Huh? Yep. I think we're good. I think we got enough upstairs. Socks, check. Ha! <laughs> Seems like I've packed everything. Yep, we're good to go. Oh, I can't close it anymore. Oh, seems like I've got to unpack something, but what? It doesn't take that much space. I'll never be able to close the suitcase with a monster like that in there. I mean, I won't need a bolt cutter where I'm going. I wonder why it was on the list in the first place. <laughs> now it fits. Packed and ready to go. Ah, I think I just strained something. <laughs> hey, Rufus, you should save your energy for the unavoidable drop into the abyss. Yeah, thanks, Wenzel. You can save your sarcasm for someone less well-prepared than me. This time, I took everything into account. It'll be a stroll in the park. Ah, that's what you said last time. It took us days to remove the cactus spikes from your butt, remember? That's all toxic runoff under the bridge. This time, everything will work out. And when finally an Elysian Orbit Pixie massages my back, I'll ask her to pause for a minute so I can laugh about you. Whatever. But say, can I have your stuff when you're gone? Yeah, sure. Help yourself. As if anything on this dump is valuable. It's time for me to leave all this behind. Great. I hope you remember to calibrate the harpoon. I'll do that later okay. after I've stored everything in the pod. Well, then hurry up. Well, you know that the Organon are always on time. Alright, so let me see here. Pack your suitcase. Okay, you gotta go throw the suitcase. There. Now we're... Oh, 
I really want. Oh, oh, I really wanted to take the suitcase along. I'll have to load the suitcase first. I want to be better prepared this time. Now, all I have to do is load the suitcase into the pod, and off we go. Now, all. I really want oh, I Nah, he can't help me with that. He's too clumsy and stupid. He'll have a hard time without a I gotta go into Tony's house. to do what it is now might it might be the door of the pot I gotta go into yep yep that's it guys there's no room there there's no room there Storage space is closed. <laughs> oh crap! The battery's using up all the space. There. And now? Oh, I really. Now, all I have to do is. I just got that from there. If I remove the seat, it might just fit. But how's it going to be attached? And more importantly, where shall I sit? <laughs> oh, crap. It's screwed tight. Hey, Wenzel. What's up? About the plan. Are there any problems? Problems? No. No, no, no. The plan is perfect. But... Where shall I put the battery? Well, I told you the seat is taking up too much space. Yeah, but you're quite the mumbler, too. Whatever you say. Anything else? Now what happens when I've got the pod ready? We wait for the Organon Cruiser. As soon as it's here, you light the fuse and jump into the cockpit. You have calibrated the harpoon, right? Not yet, but there'll be plenty of time for that. Uh, if you say so. All right. Pack, calibrate, light fuse, and... Well, at least there's a chance that... Okay, so we need to go and do something with the harpoon over there. No buts. This time, everything will work. Show you. I'll show everybody. It will be a spectacle, no doubt. Any other problems? No problem. Of course, of course. How could? See you later. You've always been my friend. My, I was. I always thought. What? I guess you're probably sad. But let's not get sad. Uh, no. At least you promised me all your stuff. The small. I'll go. You better do that. You haven't got. Yeah, I'm just by bypassing a lot, a lot of the attacks. I'll have to prepare the escape pod first. I want to be better prepared. The cable isn't long enough. Oh no. 
and a sensor. My master, I've been working on this for so long. It must have been since Monday. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, we're, we're going to need the bolt cutters, maybe. Oh, here, here the different. Ah, oh, okay. Ouch! Hot. <laughs> New problem. <laughs> oh crap! It's screwed tight. <laughs> oh crap! It's. I can see what you get. Rufus. Ah, I'm really terrible with names. Is the tunnel closed again? Yes, we had another collapse in Sector 7. Another junk slide? All this trash is really driving me nuts. I'm glad I'll be gone for good soon. Are you? You bet. Well, I only know you won't be leaving through this tunnel. Did you see Tony anywhere? Tony? Big, angry, breathes fire. My former girlfriend. Ah, Tony. Well, I guess she's down in her store, working, like everybody else, except you. I'll write you a postcard from Elysium. You go ahead and do that. Oh, you can go save by through here. Okay, tow, tow, tow my goat. We're gonna, we're gonna play. Uh, we're only gonna do it like an hour, almost an hour. So then, what we'll do is we'll come back tonight. Oh yeah, we are gonna continue. I just. Oh, oh, there's the wrench. I didn't even realize we got a wrench. We could, we could uh, go down there. There. Now where shall I put? But how's it going to be attached? And more importantly, yeah. Let me go back down in here. Uh... This here is a puzzle clicker, so we'll be clicking around here quite a bit. Alright, so let me just see here. Hmm. 
Hmm, saddle shaped. And with a compartment where the battery could fit exactly. I might have found my replacement seat. Hmm, saddle shaped. I might. Ha, there you go. There goes the battery yeah, in there. There you go. There. The capsule is ready. Now, all I have to do is calibrate the harpoon. Oh, Man, God. It's too bad the two directions of the control stick are blocked, but who needs those anyway? The main thing is that the crosshairs are right on the tracks. And then I'm gone. <laughs> this will be a walk in the park. Games, mini games, mini games. I I myself am a big fan of mini games, especially if they are like this. Easy access, very simple looking at first glance, like uh, not a challenge at all, but it's why did not to crack? Yet still mini games like this won't take that long to complete despite all complexity. Um, but there's also something I'd like to call mini game drama and when that kicks in that is um, if you find this mini game drama in a mini game then the mini game can be considered success as far as I'm concerned and that's true for this one you move the cursor like knight in chess and you think okay oh, man, so uh get to the rails up there but when we look at the lever we see both directions lead to the upper left are blocked so <laughs> you have to realize that wow that's not so easy after all. Now you can try, of course, to sneak your way around the problem, but again, bam, we end up on the same field every time. So there must be some kind of trick. Now we can develop a strategy or just try things. Both approaches will solve the uh, problem sooner or later, of course. See, I'm not really speaking much because because you gotta keep in mind, I'm not listening to the sticky comic here. And this is one of those weird things where normally, uh, normally I'm giving dialogue and yip yapping, but not. But I came here more likely just thinking and listening and taking in all the music and stuff. This mini game also tells something, and telling is dramaturgically relevant, basically. So what's been told is, of course, about Roots, as he's the one being interviewed. You learn a bit about how he picks. You get a slight understanding how he structures his plans. Uh, in this case, just screw the blade right on there without even thinking about later maintenance uh, consequences. And that's how it's dramaturgically relevant, and the punchline is uh, only the icing on the cake. Yeah. It also gives us an idea of uh, Rufus' direction. Okay, Rufus doesn't want to get to the museum, but rather get caught on those monorail tracks before. So now we have the direction. Where you want to go, here's the goal indication, but crosshairs. Uh, considering this, it tells quite a lot. Uh, and there I was almost claiming this minigame didn't have that much to tell after all, especially not as much as other things have to tell. Um, and I really like minigames that tell a lot on the meta layer, but more uh, of later on. I really look forward to that. For now, have fun playing the minigame. That there is weird and funny. All right, well, let me just see here.
I don't know what we're doing in here. At all. I don't know. I like the music, it's, it's so very weird. So we gotta we gotta get it we gotta get it over here to to this thing. I'm gonna have to go and reset this. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll be uh, live streaming this again tonight, most likely. Uh, no, actually, we might we might do something different tonight. Uh, we might not live stream this tonight. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what we could do, but we might do something or we might not. We might do something different tonight, or we might just, I'll, I'll see, I'll see where we go with this. But... I like the game, it's fun, just a kind of little bit of, a little bit confusing. So now we're getting a little bit more closer to like, to like where we need to be. Actually, though, I don't know if I'm going to be live streaming tonight. Uh, in this case, I think that what we do today. If you get down in there, you're done. Oh no, you're not done. Let me see. Okay, so... Kind of a rocket propelled harpoon if I'm building a feeding power plant, it always... 
Any case, all the today, the music I feel over the monorail, my favorite, you know, level, level. Didn't do any directing you can do. The one word I need mean, just like a night class. Unfortunately, the most people don't know about her, but you got a different thing you wouldn't want this to be, would you? So, okay, so then, using the level can shoot you in just to get to the field. So then, so then, so then. I'm trying, I'm figuring it out, dude. I think I'm, I think I'm fully figuring out the, the thing. I'm just trying to get flown about what it does, and then, and then I might be able to properly figure this out. Okay, so, so. I like the game. I think the game is interesting, and that's what I like about it. Yeah. Right now, I can't go anywhere else. So, so, here we are. Let me go this way. Uh, can I even go this way? There we go. I figured it out. I started figuring out the uh, the thinking pattern. I was like playing around with it, and then dude, I figured it out. Oh, is it Tony? Hello, Rufus. Tony, why are you sneaking around like that? This is still my house, remember? Well, it's not as obvious now since someone stole my mailbox. Oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to give you this letter. A letter? Uh-oh. This here is Tony, and I only only yes, know no. what, Sorry, Tony, what Tony really is. is. Once the fuse is lit, I'll be gone for good. Oh, I bet. If only that was true. So I could say that. I could say, I bet now you're sorry about some of the things you said. I bet now you're sorry about... This is my final goodbye. There's nothing you could say to prevent me from going. I could say, it's too late. You can beg all you want, but I won't take you along with me. Why are you here? I'm leaving for good. I'm going to say that this, this is the final goodbye. It's too early to jump for joy, I fear. I, I hear. And now you're sorry about some of the things you said. That's right. Starting with, you can stay with me. Why are you Why here? Are you here? Are you still hoping for a miracle? It would be a miracle if you finally disappeared for real. But in case it doesn't work out again, I'll at least have the satisfaction of seeing you injure yourself. I'm leaving. I gave up hope of that. And a sensor. My man, it must have been since me. We're gonna get in. Oh, yeah, tight fit. There's nothing you could say to prevent me from going. What a stroke of luck! That means I can't say anything wrong. No, it's too late. Can I have that in writing? I'm the sooner the better. Better not touch this. It's all set. How about the fuse? There, there was over here a fuse that needed to be looked into. This will be the most spectacular depart. Ah. Uh, and a sensor. I have a must. Tony, 
he can stand for a while. This isn't much use now, I guess. You know what I would love to do? I'd love to go into torture. Nope, I'll lose that fight. Oh, it's attached firmly. This isn't much use now, I guess. Hey, Wenzel. I don't, I'll go back I'll to go work then. I don't know if I could do anything to get Tony out of there. We go see if the telescope is going to do anything. Nope. The telescope won't do anything. Uh, we'll be going to... Hello again. Hey, uh, Rufus. Exactly. I'll f this time. <laughs> but I reckon... No, it hasn't. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Uh-huh. The escape pod is connected to the once the mag I see. Then where? Don't worry. How you I don't know if I could take this hot chili. Ouch! Hot. I don't know if there's anything else I could do. Um here we are on the front of Tony's home. Yeah, you know what I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to this guy's speech. This is in fact the first screen created for the Tony at all. I even made the first version myself and thus the very uh, first asset for the game. Um yeah, my first version of the screen at that style though. Back then to the left was a pretty huge tire heap under the plateau with the tunnel leading to the town center. No wait, actually the heap was on the right and left was a pile of old ET cartridges. At the time I read somewhere of the story that the Atari developers who created the ET console game. Actually that there is actually a cool thing, that that I can Somebody did find one in ET cartridge. He 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 actually uh, he he uh, a guy though he uh, he researched online about about this about this dump out there and I think it was in Arizona, if I'm not mistaken, on like New Mexico. And uh, he went out there and he went digging around and he found uh, a whole bunch of old old like ET. And ET the act like the ET game. I'm not talking about any recent ones. I mean, the original one is considered to be one of the worst games of all time. Like, and now we're back. E.T. came out like the 80s. It is considered one of the worst games ever made, E.T. Uh, it's on there, and, and it's not even any, like, a game today, though. If you made one, it would just be uh, sick. They should make one. Well, Telltale Games would have should have made one, but... I would have been sick. If they would have made like an ET style game with Telltale, dude, that would have been dope. So it was supposed to be one single game, the complete journey, yeah. so to speak, until we realized that the whole thing was way too huge for only one game and we eventually had to split it into three parts. Another remarkable thing about this screen is that I noticed how alarmingly committed uh, our animators are. Uh, we were on a rather strict timetable in regards of uh, animation, despite our long to-do list to breathe life into Deponia. And it was here that an animator worked on a mailbox and she was just supposed to give it a quick animation. It even was listed as a nice to have as it was just a... Oh sorry, I'm not even supposed to even be on here. We usually saw supposed to be on my stream. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have, have to back time. out. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my stream. Ended up on her list, so she Shit. made this very you know, elaborate really animation where Rufus sent that mail. Did you be going to my channel? Yep, there we go. <laughs> All I thought was, wow, I, I want stuff like this for the whole game. And Dreaming, Deponia, the complete journey. Uh, awesome. 
from the yeah. surface point of view, this loop is really interesting as well as the perspective um, of the fridge. That's quite a challenge. And in a way, a great about this game that I love the Echo Like O style. That's the word that I've been trying to use for the past like 28 games. I couldn't think of a word. I kept playing uh, for the O style. O style and like though Captain Captain Spirit, phenomenal O style. That game, I gotta say, and everybody agreed that that game was just bonkers. The Pony though is actually giving like exciting excellent reviews. Very interesting screen, right at the beginning. What an introduction. Alright, so every single time though we have to get one in here an introduction, we, we wanna read it. It seems that Tony is a little bit of a Oh, here we go. So, after we've puzzled through the first hurdles of packing a suitcase, we can now play Rufus' first escape attempt towards Elysium, leaving behind this heap forever. Yeah, well, the weather forecast said it's over in that one. We were told there would be rain in this scene, and as a matter of fact, I always planned this scene to take place in the rain. This guy here is, is really cool to uh, actually listen to. It, it's uh, a commentary, and it's really cool to listen to uh, a developer of a game tell you about the game what they did. Well, well, Tony used to be probably something else. Do I see a teardrop there? Uh, no, we can wait for that. I know what I have to do. Yep, Tony has some screws loose, no doubt about it. Better not have it all set up. And a sensor. I don't, it must And I have been working on this. It must have been since. Nah, he can't help me with that. He's too clumsy and stupid. <laughs> this isn't much use now. There's nothing that needs to be. There's nothing that needs to be screwed. I'm gonna say, is there anything in here I could use? And I've been worried. Must. I'm gonna say I and a sense I believe must Yeah there are Yeah there are loose knots but that's okay. Yeah there are This isn't much use now. This would make a fat. Nah, <laughs> that's for amp. 
This isn't much. This isn't much. This isn't much use now, I guess. I don't know what else there would be to do. Uh, let me double check over here. I'm gonna say we might be able to utilize. Luckily, I'm a gifted lock picker. Damn. That would have been a piece of cake with the right tool. Luckily, I'm a gifted. Damn, that would have been a piece of cake with the right tool. Hmm, locked. Luckily, I'm a gift. Damn. Tony must have the key. Let me go out to the front of the house again and see if I'm missing anything. This is a handheld. Well, you can weld either. But don't forget to wear a. Uh, thanks for the input. But <laughs> well, then sh safety mask. Plus amateur. This would make a fat. Nah. <laughs> never. And never. And Tony. Never. My inventory could burn. And Tony is not gonna. This isn't my. Thank you, but I like to stand during my break. I have to sit the whole day. <laughs> that sounds like that you can do my next shift. Y you know, I don't mean that. We gotta get up there somehow, I think. This isn't much use now, I guess. <laughs> Maybe with this. Yikes! There's nothing that needs to be. Nope, I've been sick. I like the music though, I gotta say. The music in the thing is pretty sick. Oh, wait a minute, we could go put this in there. Maybe in a pot? <laughs> this isn't much use. In I don't like clean tools. <laughs> they always give. I don't like clean <laughs> They always give the impression. Actually, let, let me go into the coat. Well, I think that's all. Should be enough. I'm a gifted lock picker. Damn, that would have been a piece of cake with the right tool. What's out here that I could use? Hey, Wenzel. What's up? Any signs of... No, but the Organon are always on time. It's no accident that we set the town hall clock by them. About are there any problems? No, no, the plan is... No problem. Oh, of course. Of course. Do you... Don't know? Yeah, but... Aww. 
I'm This would make a fabulous all round two. Nah, <laughs> that's this isn't much use. This isn't much. This would make a fabulous. Nah, <laughs> this would make a fabulous all. Nah, who needs <laughs> that's for amateur. And stupid. He'll have a oh, wait a minute. We could probably go and grab. Can we grab the water cutters? Huh. My oldest son of. My father left me before he left me. I don't want to. I don't want to be. I've given up. I don't even want to know what's in there. I've given up. I don't even want. Let me see what it is. Blech. Nah, like always. See that there is something interesting. There's nothing that needs to be There are loose knots, but it's already lit. I'm not supposed to do the dishes with that's why I won't do them at all. Just because Tony wants me to move out of the attic doesn't mean I have to move into a mouse hole. I'm not. I can't do that to the mouse. I don't know what else there is to do uh, in here at all. I don't know. I don't know what else there is to do at all. I'm 
trying to figure it out and I just can't We could go and switch the game out, uh, maybe. If you guys want to go switch out a game, we can go switch it out. Nah. I don't know what else there is to do. Tony is <sighs> pig. Nope. Oh. I'm so after we follow through the I, I better not piss off. This will be the most spectacular depart. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what 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 to do here w with Tony. Deponia. What do we do with Tony? We got a hook onto something, and I can't really think about where I gotta go. And somewhere on here, I'm gonna need to use some kind of hook. Well, here we go. We got a hook. I'm... And... As I've been working on this, it must have been since... Again, hey Rufus, exactly. Again, up. Don't worry, I'm sure. How? I just can't get in there. 
locked. Tony must have the key. Hold on, guys. I don't get. Beaker, beaker. I'm thinking that right there on the side is gonna be something, something you use this thing for. Luckily, I'm a gifted lock picker. Damn, that would have been a piece of cake with the right tool. Right before you. I don't want. I don't want to be. Well, I think that's all. Should be enough. I don't know, man. Alright, we're gonna go up there. I'm thinking that there's something in there I gotta do, and I can't figure it out. Oh, okay, we gotta go light the fuse. That's right. I had that earlier, and, and it wasn't doing it with the fuse. That there is actually, though, it, of course, it's rockets on there. It's just sticking fuse, guys. Now is when it counts. Hullabaloo. Hullabaloo. Let's do it. Oh, here we go. About time. Well, maybe I should read the letter. Dear Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We I mean, I'm getting lost because blah, blah, I couldn't blah, figure blah, out where the thinking thing went. Yeah. Unfortunately, the delivery of your screws will be delayed for... Oh, God. Please find and close a voucher for a pack of rivets. We apologize for any inconvenience this might have caused. Sincerely yours. Just a second. Screws? Oh god. Uh oh. Oh god. Whoa. There we go. Oof, what a maneuver. Hey, my suitcase is here too. It must have got entangled in the chain. <laughs> Just like I planned.
Okay. We're not dead yet, guys. We're still in it. I know that we made around the circle for half the for half the time, anyways. But it's okay. Not a part of the plan. Ouch! The wire's cutting into my flesh. I need, uh, well, something like, uh, uh, um, has anyone here got a bolt cutter? No, I don't. That's why. Hey, aggressive little bugger. As long as it's active, I'll never be able to grab it. It already has plenty of oil stains. Yeah, we're going this one then. Yeah, I'm getting dirt between my teeth already. I better leave it closed for now. That's why we have bolt cutters, you fool. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. I can say. I probably have bolt cutters. I'll never be able to open it with that. Aggressive little bugger. Yeah, as long as it's active, I'll never be able to grab it. As long as the hatch is closed, I can't put a sock on. Oh! He don't use the sock. Okay, so now we're gonna put up here. Okay, now I got a new in your thumb. Ouch! I'm not getting anywhere. I need a bolt cutter. It's overqualified, like me. Yeah, I'm getting. I better leave. It. The arm has it now. Ouch! Arm has found its master. It now eats from. Ouch! I don't know this here gonna do anything. This is unbelievable. This is just impossible. I think I'm getting dizzy. Are you suffering from vertigo, Miss Go? You should have stayed in your cabin. It was foolish of you to go against my orders. What? What's going on here, Bailiff? Did you know about all this? Just a minute. All of you knew about this, right? The whole organized world in this? Sorry about that, really guy. think you could just keep it a secret? Wait until Cletus hears about this. But you won't be telling him anything about it. You will be a good girl and wait here until the Prime Controller arrives. And then? What then? I am an Elysian, not one of his office clerks. How does he plan to assure my silence? Just you wait, Ms. Gold. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Holy smoke, a real orbit pixie. I bet you'll be pretty thankful once I've rescued her from the clutches of the Dark Exchequer. Let's go. Rufus to the rescue. She's real. She real. She's real. She. I'll save my tel. Okay, now we're going into the hatch. <laughs> Take that! No, don't! Ah! What's that? Ah! Oops, guess that was the wrong lever. You damned fool! How dare you mess with the plans of the Organon men! Throw him overboard! Uh-oh! <laughs> you can catch me first, but I'm much too fast for you, see? First I'm here, and now I'm gone. Here, 
gone. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Ouch. I was so close, but no, the minute I see a beautiful damsel in distress, wham! Well, I guess that's just who I am. I'm simply a die-hard do-gooder. Toro! Hey, I said Toro! Huh. If anything, he seems even more bored now. You have to be oh. <laughs> Ah, Miss Hinkle lost her dachshund. Well, I mean there wasn't much <laughs> What's going on here? I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since, since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax on the lack of political commitment. Another big and difficult screen. This is pretty much the crossroads screen, and it also has a scribble done by me. Uh, it's in my head very clearly, and I still know how I established the house's visuals. I'm actually a bit proud of the uh, fawn facades and the golden roofs. We, of course, that is Micha and me, uh, put a lot of thought into the composition of the houses. What would they be made of? Um, we actually did concepts of wrecking boards, dredgers, cranes and garbage trucks and then disassembled them. And all those engine parts and parts of the hull uh, you never get to see are now jury rigged roofs. I think that's quite exciting and enjoyable. Uh, in this screen though, I had a little argument with Bardo, my lead game designer as well, who struggled with the abundance of exits and different levels, for example one towards uh, Tony's shop in the front, you can see it there on the right corner, or the water tower to the left and all that. Uh, Script-wise this was a huge effort to get everything in there nice and clean. Uh, then you have those long walking passages and so on. Uh, he basically threw his hands over his head going all like, Oh, Pokey, you can't freaking do that. The screen is an <laughs> atrocity. Okay, he doesn't speak like that, but <laughs> for the sake of story and content, I just wanted this long shot. So um, it's a big crossroad screen, kind of an establisher of the town, uh, like a map. It's something I just desperately wanted. So uh, it's a map. But also an ordinary screen with the flow of uh, the story, and yeah, I got my way. To be honest, I I don't know if uh, that was beneficial uh, to the game after all. Actually, I should really re listen to what Bardis says. I always should listen to what Bardis says. Uh, Script-wise, this is a big crossroad. This is, he'll be flabbergasted when he hears about my newest adventure. I bet he'll be pretty disgruntled, because he decided not to come with me. He'll start shaking. Hey, why am I not as cool? I also want to ex- <laughs> But deep down in his heart, he knows that he just isn't cut. He'll get seriously to- Oh boy, I really hope he's home. Wenzel! Hey, Rufus. Back already? That was really fast this time. Yeah, yeah. This time, I almost made it. Unfortunately, like so often, my human kindness got in my own way. Of course. That darn human kindness of yours. It's always getting into your way, right? Indeed. You never get anything done anymore. Well, there are just too many humans. They should all be... Drowned in the Red Rust Sea. Exactly. That... Darn human kindness. By the way, thanks for all your stuff. What? Wait, isn't that my chest? Well, you said I could have your stuff if your plan works out. But... And your plan did work out. You just said so yourself, didn't you? Yes, yes, but... but... Well, that's settled then. How the hell did you manage to open the trunk? Well, all you have to do is disengage the childproof lock. But the only thing in there was this weird stick.
That's my father's divining rod. You think so? Legend has it that it always brought him luck. He found the water vein Kuvak's built on with this very rod. Yeah? Well, if my father really always had that much luck, then why didn't he manage to take me along when he left Deponia? Eh? I haven't the slightest idea. Hey, maybe you can find water with the divining rod. And where, pray tell, would I start to look? In my basement? I should say that's highly improbable. Late. Exactly. Don't even think about it, Rufus. It's mine now. But it's a family heirloom. So? A gift is a gift. Boy, I can hardly wait. Maybe I can find a... And once I... We'll split 50-50. <laughs> I might... Hey, that's my dad's... When the lives in a kind of dollhouse, uh, I'm a big fan of screens like that that unfold room by room, even though everything happens basically uh, on the same screen. And that's why I took the liberty of doing it exactly that way in this case. Um, we did it uh, in a new beginning as well, in a more limited way, and I'm just very fond of that. It's a great use of adventure visuals. Adventure screens are pretty similar to a theater stage, in fact. There you would do it with lighting, and here we use visuals. Uh, when I do the writings for a game, dialogues always come second after the cutscenes. Here I establish the characters and their relationships, and so I did with the relationship between Rufus and Wenzel, and I was glad I could give it some depth via a multiple choice dialogue. I'm especially looking forward to the part where Rufus laughs at him, going like, <laughs> that's because you're so small. <laughs> uh, that's the punchline, and I just spoiled it. Uh, but with the proper uh, build-up, it's a real comedic jewel. Uh, <laughs> uh, additionally, uh, you can enjoy one of the scarce nude scenes in the screen, uh, but that's happening much later. Well, um, depending on when you actually clicked this. So, um, have fun. I don't think so. Never mind. I don't think so. Never mind. I don't think so. <laughs> Never mind. If my impeccable sense of orientation doesn't fail me, I should be under the shower. We're going to go back in here. Sorry, guys. We're going to go back in here. I'm trying to figure this out. Sorry about that. I've been muted the whole entire time. I don't know. Uh, we'll figure this out. Shoot! Oh, my God. Hello, Hannock. Oh, hey, uh, Rufus. 
Exactly. Why aren't you... You mean, why am I doing just the same as you? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan, that's why. Hey, I am very busy, actually. I've been running around all day, getting things done, and, uh, picking stuff up, and, 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 and things like that. Well, how about you find some new magnets for our detonation plan? Then we can finally continue work. Is that your... Yes, we use it to detect danger. Oh, what do you do? We get a new... <laughs> uh, Rufus? Exactly. Hello? Ah, I'm stuck! Ah. Ignore him. My wife sometimes talks. He must have picked that up. We can't meet anymore. Ah. Although my husband is almost deaf, his bird has quite good ears. Ah. Ah. The emergency station is closed. Oh, great. Well, my nuclear power propelled satellite could crash it. Or the. I mean, isn't anyone think. Okay. Ah. Uh. Formal line, people. Draw a waiting. <clears throat> oh, draw a waiting number, and the mayor will see you in a short while. What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor is about to decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well, I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the Dark Exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story, too. Oh, my, my God. All, all of them were trying to so steal her. Oh, God, man. Okay, opening hours. Hello, Lottie. You too. <clears throat> y you too? Dear me, what a day. Where's the girl from Elysium? Princess Sugar. <clears throat> yeah. Princess Sugar Bottom? Oh, she's lying around in the assembly hall. Of course, I knew you came because of her. That's always the same. <clears throat> always the same. A beautiful young girl in a tight jumpsuit falls from the sky heavily injured. And immediately, <laughs> everyone's falling over themselves to help her. Hussy. Hussy! I want to see the... Everyone. <laughs> Take a number and... I official Although a lot of people me for that won't be <coughs> I'll skip don't let the Number sixty six almost my lucky number Goal I have to talk to her. She's got to know who her savior is. Rufus, do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. Oh, the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. Oh, man. She, she looks amazing. Goal? What's going on? That's enough. You what? Come on. Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. For further tests, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! The coffee that could be of help here needs to be brewed. 
Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes. We're gonna we're gonna wake up, Cole. Don't worry, Doctor Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good, except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. Hey, Cole. Cole. Wakey, wake. <laughs> Very good. Oh, well, you know, it's just. Oh, here we go. So, save goal. So, light. So, The poster! <coughs> Until when? Until the sign says, then it's open! But there's no clock there. Very observant. And now... Get away from that door! I let go down here in the tunnel. I go in now, her taunting remarks will shower down on me like I... Oh, well, what the heck. Let's get this over with. Well, 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 look who's back. If it isn't Evil Knievel, the man who defied gravity, the conqueror of the sky, the wind jockey, the traveler... Okay, spheres, listen, your yet, partner. Here he stands, right in front of me. Who'd have thought? Believe it or not, this time I really made it. I was on board an Organon cruiser. Its destination, Elysium. And then the Elysium. Lord me became too much to bear. I had to choose a life of eternal bliss, which means far away from you, or saving a beautiful Elysian girl from a horrible death. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. Rufus is doing a selfless deed. I would love to laugh, but my belly's still aching from when you were dragged through the jungle. Yeah, listen, you. lady. I'll wake the girl, and she'll take me to Elysium, and then you'll be sorry. You'll all be sorry. I bet you'll be sorry. Uh... I'd like to buy something. With what? Or did you get a job recently that I don't know? I guess I can't about? buy anything. I don't. I don't have anything to buy. Really? Oh. What are those? They're gifts that you hand them in at the post office, and they. Cool. I'll take them. What? They don't come free. I thought they were gift vouchers. Oh. The first aid cabinet is locked. What? Did you injure yourself? Like Not yet. Too bad. You know what? I'll have a good long laugh. And then, I'll I've got. <sighs> but here you. Hands off my. S what? I'm just. Browsing is what paying customers do. Yeah, we need to we need to find coffee stuff, and I don't think I. Oh wait, I can't. I'm more attractive. I'm more. Oh wait a minute. If she had a pacemaker, maybe. But she doesn't even have. What do you got there? Isn't it enough for you to scatter your crap? Do you really have to lug it into my- Actually, I wanted to give you a little treat. You could do that. What do you got there? Isn't it enough for you to- Do you- You could- We're gonna need- We're gonna need to go to Village Center. Oh, here we go to Tony's house.
I'm more attractive. Well, I'm gonna go see. We we probably have to go back upstairs. I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rule out anything yet because who really knows? To be honest, it could be, I could it, oh here we go. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna need to throw off this dud. We're gonna actually take. So you're gonna need to get all this stuff here. We're gonna need to grab. Oh, we'll, go, we'll grab anything. We'll grab. We'll grab even this funnel because I'm probably gonna need to make something. Can't even grab. Usually it. I'd say funnel, but after my. So what happened is, no matter what would have happened, I would have gotten here. That. That there though, if if what would have happened, I would have gotten in here anyways, and I wouldn't have been able to do anything. So let's go down this way. Uh, okay. How about how about to the point? Okay, here we go. Can I go? Okay, let's go over here to the hood. We go to the truck trunk door and see what's in here. I guess I can't. Oh, I guess I can't. Oh, great. The rust bucket's dead, but the lock is still working. Okay, let's see. Can we use magnets on this thing? I'm more attracted. How about how about we go down in here? Toro! Hey! <laughs> I guess not. I guess we can't. Lobo is looking for a well, that makes sense. I guess there's nothing else I can do in here. Oh, to the water reserve. I don't know what there is to do in here, but we can figure it out uh, without a doubt. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, no, I don't know about this water reserve. Hey, buddy, welcome back to the stream. If you are watching, hit that follow button, please. Be nice. Go down I don't know, man. We finally reached the town hall, and the character who was supposed to have just a minor support role. Uh, who even in the final version, uh, the quote unquote beautifully <laughs> animated final version, uh, still looks like my very crude sketch. Uh, and that is Lottie, voiced by the talented uh, Tim Bentink, uh, in the English version at least. Lottie was uh, designed to be a minor character in Ponya, as I said, yet she still makes a reappearance later on. And I don't know why she's inside of that door like that. I never intended that, uh, though, and I don't know why this character got so overwhelmingly much positive feedback. In fact, the press uh, in each territory uh, always had a spotlight on Lottie. And I also remember that very long and elaborately mail which I answered with a lot of time and effort talking to an upset customer who claimed we would uh, rid ridicule transsexual tendencies in the pony. I strongly disagreed with uh, this perception of Lottie and granted, even if her... Yeah, I mean, I like it. And cliched, uh, Lottie herself is not a ridiculous character. Uh, this part belongs to Rufus and Rufus alone. Everyone around yeah, falls victim without a doubt. to Rufus's ridiculousness. So the most beautiful thing about that is uh, that Rufus actually is neither uh, biased nor 
uh, intolerant uh, in in uh, any way, at least not in a common way. What upsets him is vastly different than the things other ordinary idiots oh. rant about. Ordinary idiots have in fact a certain obligatory intolerance t towards uh, others. Rufus, however, he is a special moron. His kind of intolerance is of the liberal kind. He thinks all his fellow people are equally stupid, Ooh. and that makes him, at least oh. in that regard... I, I click at uh, something and it goes true. there. Can you tell me why he it does that? everyone equally. Equally shitty, so no matter the background... But that person here is interesting. I want to find out why he's in that corner like that. Illustrated in the pony Welcome to the pony My name is Pokey Pokinson. Where do you think you- I'll go to Elysium with Goal. In that case, you're in the wrong place. This door and access- So draw it! I'll skip- I don't know, did anything else in here I could get? Hey, why aren't you working? Because some joker removed the... No thanks, I'm... Oh, this is what you call do... Sure. Oh, I always thought do... Doesn't it? Okay, so we gotta go and put ah, magnets in. I thought you are on your way to Elysium. Have you come back to pay your tab? Oh, that. Oh, well, listen, Lonzo. I, uh, I plan to do that, but constructing an escape vehicle costs a lot. And, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, Rufus. No one here expected you to make it. Huh. Ah. We did make it, but... Sadly... Someone had to pay for the table you broke yesterday. Yeah, that was an awesome performance, wasn't it? Look at me! I'm Tony! Skull, skull, skull! Wine! Fred! <laughs> How? Well, will you ever? Of course! But you know that I. Uh. <laughs> well said, Lonzo. Did you yeah. hear about. Yes, don't tell me you. Well, you. I'm always the. Idiot. Yes. I have to. I'd... Yeah. Oh no, I didn't think else I could do in here. Huh? The emer oh, my nuclear power prepa- Or, I mean, isn't- Does- Ah! Yeah, suit yourself. Hey, why aren't you working? Because so Huh? The emer- Oh, great. Well, what if there's an emergency now? My nuclear-power-propelled satellite could crash into Kuvac. Or the Grizzlies could break free from my treadmills. I mean, isn't anyone thinking on their feet here? I think that we're gonna end the stream here shortly, and then I'll come back later, and we will continue the game most likely here in a bit. But I'm I'm actually liking the game, and we'll probably be back with it later, maybe a little a little bit later.
I go to the emergency phone and see what that does. So, I'm not exactly sure yet what's going to happen with this. Oh, make sure guys that you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that no I mean, uh, follow button. God, it's still got to take time to get used to it though. Hello? I want to report a crime. Hello? Great, Inspector Gizmo seems to be out, but as soon as you accidentally drop the town elder's cane in the cesspool, he's right behind you. Uh, I'll give it another try later. <laughs> it's no use holding a mirror to tell she'll never be able to admit to her evil. How can a person have so little? That would make her Oh, there must be an easier way to get to the Black Power. Huh. There really is some blackish powder in there. But how can I extract it without blowing myself up again? Huh. But how without blowing myself But how can I without blowing my Oh, there must be an easier way to get to the black powder. Never and to Wait. All the things you need if you want to stay mo off my Wait. Anchors, metal all the things. This is where Tony's budgie cage used to hang, but he couldn't cope with her, so he's... He died of old age. Yeah, whatever you say. After you accidentally infected... You know, I like my version better. I don't know how to get... how to extract... I'll hear what we're gonna do. I don't want to waste all of my... One thing I'm frequently asked is if there's a real-life reference to the character of Tony. I mean, I don't think... I, I basically mean... Basically, all kinds of things that are dead weight, preventing you from... Great fun, but <laughs> as much as I... Uh, Charlotte Moore's... Lonzo Spa, it's quite an interesting room content. Lonzo Spa. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I owe Lonzo. Lonzo, yeah. Do you have something that can give someone a real boost? Since when are you ordering coffee? Did you break Tony's coffee machine again? How often do I have to tell you that you don't filter oil? No, this is not about. I need something that really kind of. Lonzo, are you okay? 
Okay, just forget I ever asked. I'm off. No, no, wait a minute. I think I know exactly what you need. Okay. Oh boy. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Oh my god, so we got hey, it. Wow. Pipes? Tanks? It looks like a stinking organ it's for a, coffee. It's a. Uh, it's a thing. This is an espresso machine. But this is not just any old espresso machine. This is the mother of all espresso machines. I tuned it myself. And you wound ribbons into its hair? Indeed I did. Okay, but one question remains. What exactly is this espresso? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure myself. I think it's a kind of... Highly concentrated coffee. The people of prehistoric times drank it. Uh-huh. And then they forgot to switch the machine off. <laughs> I see. I built the compressor following all the instructions. So tomorrow will be Fortnite Thursday, so we'll be doing that tomorrow night. But I think I uh, let's see. And then I see the, the, the game here will be our game we'll be doing for, bring me for the next foreseeable future. The and meantime, then we'll move on to I another game after that. Policy. Oh, 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 oh. I like so this excited. game now. <laughs> what a scroll. Okay, I need clear, reviving, and energy rich water. The coffee powder must be black, stimulating, and made from hot beans. It, none of these things. I never mind. Being a mass. I'll be right back, guys. Just, just give me a minute or two. I think that we may end it here for now. Uh, we will come back later and it's actually three hours from now and we will come back and we will pick up the game now. I just gotta go for a few hours, take a little bit of a break and uh, we'll be back. Dinner and a lot of other things I wanna go and uh, look at, well I, I think, I think I could go do something else in here. Uh, it's all with just bring till then I'll do some fine tuning on the espresso machine. Okay. I'll be getting on you do Alright guys, that gonna be it for now. Uh, uh thank you all for joining me on the stream. Oh, the emergency station is open again. Right, the pony uh, the thank you. Uh it's been fun. I've enjoyed this game. I'm I'm actually enjoying this game. Uh but at this time we are going to uh, take a little bit of a break. Uh, I'll come back in a few hours, and then we will pick this back up for part two, and we'll try to get, we'll try to go and figure out what I'm going to need to bring in gold and all that to bring it back. But anyway, I am enjoying the game. It's a pretty, once again, Humble Bundle, you did it again. Like I've said, there's not been a game on Humble Bundle that tactically I have been disappointed with. Not at all, and I don't think I ever will be. Guys, it's been a blast as always. Thank you all. Have a good rest of your day. A, 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 good, a good rest of the afternoon. Whatever little bit left. It's actually nighttime now. So, see you around here at at 8 p.m. Uh, to go and do part two. Or well, to do episode two uh, on this. Alright, guys. That's it. Afternoon stream out. Uh, make sure to hit that follow button, and, uh, if you're watching from YouTube, uh, now, well, whenever this comes out, it should come out on Friday, uh, Friday. Actually, it'll come out on Friday, yes, because tomorrow, the, then, uh, make sure to do that. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Gotcha? Gotcha. Alright, guys, thank you. I'm be I better go save real quick, though. On stream for you now, and we go. My game didn't save.
Like, I have proof now, and I saved it. Alright, guys, see you later.